Hi, I'm Jim Hendricks with Boating Magazine. I'm at the 2015 Miami Boat Show. Join me while I check out the latest in marine electronics. I'm here with David Dunn, Director of Marine Sales for Garmin. Garmin's introduced a brand new technology called Pan Optics, and it's designed to help saltwater fishermen find fish and bait. David, what can you tell us about this technology? So we at Garmin have changed the way you use sonar. This is all new sonar. You've never seen anything like this before. So we've taken multi-beam technology with phased ray and we can actually steer our beam. Can you imagine chasing bait and steering your transducer towards the bait so you can see where the bait ball is instead of having to actually drive over it and chase them all morning? Can't wait to get out and use it. Saves fuel, saves time, catch more fish. Oh, absolutely, sounds fantastic. Let's, uh, let's get out and go fishing. Let's do it. I'm here with Chris Meyer from Lawrence Electronics. Now, Lawrence has a new feature on its HDS units called Smart Steer. Now, Chris, tell me the one thing that saltwater anglers should know about Smart Steer. If you're a saltwater angler and have a bay boat like we're in right now, and you can put a XI-5 a trolling motor for motor guide on the front, and you have a hydraulic steering in your boat, like a Sea Star um, steering system, you can take and have autopilot for your boat uh, that's really affordable, you know, $9.99 retail. Um, and then Motor Guide uh, sells a, an interface cable that allows you to tie their trolling motor into the NEMA 2000 backbone. So now you're uh, out on the flats fishing, you can take your Motor Guide XI-5, program her out, and fish a weed edge, whatever your uh, transition you're fishing for, targeting your fish, and uh, do it all hands-free. So all you have to do is worry about catching instead of controlling your boat. Sounds like a feature that saltwater anglers are gonna really love. Yeah, very much. I'm here with David Dellinger from the National Weather Service, and we're talking about EPIRBs, such as this one from ACR. David, tell me one thing a boater needs to know about an EPIRB. Well, when they first buy it, they have to register it. They need to tell us who owns it, uh, their next of kin, their, um, how to get in touch with them, uh, so that if they ever uh, set off the EPIRB, we'll know where to find them. That's great advice, great safety advice. Of course, the number one safety advice is Make sure you do buy one. Make sure you have it and make sure the battery's charged. Make sure you use the right battery for it. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm here with Jim McGowan, America's marketing manager for Ray Marine. Now the company has introduced the Dragonfly 4, 5, and Y fish. Jim, if you could tell me one thing about these fish finders that, is, that anglers really need to know, what is it? Um, our newest Dragonfly uh, sonar editions pack a lot of technology in a very compact package at a great value. I got gotcha. you. And what is it that sets these apart from other fish finders on the market? They all use our Chirp Down Vision technology. So all of these new Dragonfly sonars um, give you that high definition sonar experience that's really popular today. Well, I think boating anglers are going to love it, and I can't wait to get out and try them myself. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm here with Jay Robinson, Camera Products Manager for FLIR Maritime. They're introducing the Ocean Scout 320 here at the Miami Show. Jay, if you could tell boaters one thing they need to know about this night vision camera, what is it? It's got a higher definition display, it's got a, a narrower field of view on the lens, so it's got a greater range and you can see things at greater distance, and it's got analog video out. So that's a new feature for a handheld camera, isn't it? It is for this model of handheld camera. It allows people to connect it to their multifunction display or an analog monitor and allow other people on the boat to see what's happening. Well, I can't wait to get out and try it. Thanks so much, Jay. You bet. I'm here with David McLean, National Sales Manager for ICOM. The company has introduced a new VHF radio, the M424 with GPS. David, what can you tell me about this radio that boaters really need to know? Well, basically, Jim, this has GPS built into it. That's what the G stands for. So it makes it a lot easier to hook up your DSC information for emergencies. Well, it sounds like a great safety feature for boaters and a great convenience. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Dean Kurtz, Vice President of Furuno USA. Furuno's introduced a new product, the TZ Touch 2. Dean, what can you tell me the one thing that boaters really need to know about these products? Well, they're full multi-touch displays that incorporate built-in GPS and fish finders right into the display. Not only is it a normal fish finder, but it's a what we call a ResBoost fish finder. We're adding post-processing technology that will actually enhance a conventional fish finder image by four to eight times over the conventional sounder. 
So a customer and a voter is going to get four to eight times better resolution, much like chirp-like performance without investing in a chirp box or a chirp transducer. It's a really nice, exciting technology. Well, it sounds like a great feature. I can't wait to get out and use it. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome.